In this lesson, we will use Desmos to graph a curve defined by parametric equations, complete a table of values, as well as indicate the orientation. Parametric equations are a set of equations that define a group of quantities as functions of one or more independent variables called parameters. In this example, the parametric equations define x and y in terms of t. We are given x of t equals one-half t squared plus two, and y of t equals t minus three. We are asked to complete a table of values, then graph the curve for t on the closed interval from negative four to positive four, and then indicate the orientation. Notice how on the table the values for t are negative four, negative two, zero, two, and four. Using Desmos, we enter parametric equations in the form of an ordered pair, x of t comma y of t. Let's go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. And now let's enter the parametric equations, which can be entered from the computer keypad or the Desmos keypad. I will use the Desmos keypad so you can see what I'm entering. In the lower left-hand corner, click show keypad. Click open parenthesis. And since x of t is equal to one-half t squared plus two, we enter one divided by two, right arrow. The t is on the letter keypad, so we click the ABC button. In the lower left-hand corner, T, go back to the number keypad. To enter the exponent of two, click A squared, and then we have plus two comma, Y of T is equal to T minus three, and therefore we enter T minus three. Notice by default, the interval for T is from zero to one. We need to change this so that it's from negative four to positive four. Click on the zero, enter negative four, tab positive four. Let's close the keypad. Now we need to adjust the window, and there are several ways to do this. One way is to click, hold, and drag the graph to a new position. This looks nice. We can also use the zoom out and zoom in buttons, which are the plus and minus buttons in the upper right hand corner. To adjust the window manually, click the wrench, and adjust the interval for the x and y axes toward the bottom. While we're here though, let's click the projector mode, which makes the graph and the axes more thick. To exit this menu, click outside the menu. It automatically closes. So now we have a nice graph of the curve. Let's change the color though. To do this, click and hold on the red circle on the left, and then click on a new color. Let's click black. Close this window by clicking outside the window. And now let's create a slider so that we can see the orientation of the graph, which is the direction the graph is traced out as t increases from negative four to positive four. To do this, we are going to copy the equations in cell one by highlighting the parametric equations and then pressing control C for copy. Go down to cell two and press control V for paste. And now we are going to change the variable t to a different variable. Let's change t to a. So we change this T to A and this T to A, and then click Add Slider for A. Let's click on the Label option in cell two, and now we need to change the values of A to match the values of T. So we'll click on the lower bound for A of negative 10, change that to negative four, tab, the upper bound to positive four, tab. Let's change the step to one. Notice A and T have the same interval, and A is going to increase by one each time. So let's click outside cell three, and now we'll use a slider to change the value of A to negative four by dragging it to the left. And now as we increase A, we can see the orientation of the graph or the direction the graph is traced out as T or A increases from negative four to positive four. Notice how this also gives us the corresponding ordered pair for each value of A or T. So we could use these ordered pairs to complete the table of values as well. Going back one more time, notice when t is negative four, x is 10 and y is negative seven. When a or t is negative two, x is four and y is negative five. When a or t is zero, x is two and y is negative three. When a or t is two, x is four and y is negative one. And when a or t is four, x is 10 and y is one. 
So we have all the information we need. But let's also plot the five points on the graph that correspond to the t values of negative four, negative two, zero, two, and four. To do this, we will use the variable b and define a list. Let's click in cell four. Let's enter b equals open square bracket negative four comma negative two comma zero comma two comma four or we can just enter dot 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 four for the same result. And now we're going to go down to cell five, press control V again for paste, and now let's change the variable T to the variable B. Click on label, and now notice how we have the five points on the curve that correspond to the five T values negative four, negative two, zero, two, and four. So now we have all the information we need and more in order to answer the question. Let's go back and do that. I've already made a copy of the graph here in our work. Let's indicate the orientation by using arrows. Remember the orientation and direction the curve is traced out from t equals negative four to t equals positive four is this direction here. And then using the ordered pairs here on the graph, I've already completed the table of values. I hope you found this helpful.